blessed day to everyone. Again, this is Mom Honey Banzuelo, and for today's session, our focus is the learning activity we had on the topic permutation and combination. So are you now ready? Let the learning begins. First, we must be able to be clear with the idea of how is permutation different from combination. Let me just give an emphasis that when we talk about arrangement, which requires an order, a definite order, that means we are talking about permutation. But if anything goes, there's no specific order, that means you are talking about combination. So once again, an arrangement with a definite order is called permutation, and an arrangement without a definite order is called combination. So to start with, we are asked which is true about choosing 4 out of 12 toppings for a pizza promo. First, we're talking about toppings for a pizza. Be reminded now that this is a combination. Why? Since putting the toppings of a pizza does not require any specific order. As long as you have your pizza, you put on the toppings, and that's it, regardless of the order on how you put on toppings. And that indicates that we're now talking about combination. And to compute for the number of possible combinations of a pizza toppings, we use the formula combination of 12 taken 4 at a time. Therefore, the correct answer is B. It is an example of combination. Once again, it's because it does not require any specific order. We now proceed to the next problem. In how many ways can you make a three-letter code using the first 15 letters of the alphabet if repetition of letters is not allowed? Take note here, we're talking about code. And code requires an order, so therefore we are using permutation. Take note of our key concepts. First, you're talking about three-letter code. And each of the code can now use the first 15 letters in the alphabet. But you have to take note that from the 15, repetition is not allowed. So therefore, we are now to create our equation. On the first letter, we are now given 15 choices the first 15 letters in the alphabet. But among the 15, we're only getting one. That means we are now guided that we are using how many available letters for the second. Remember, repetition is not allowed. So that means from 15 choices, it will now be 14 letters. And from the 14 available letters, we're again getting only one. In the same manner with the third letter of the code. Since repetition is not allowed, it will just give us 13 available letters, and we're getting only one out of it. So from this combination, we are now to get its product. So I hope you know how to use your calculator to be able to get each permutation. This will be their equivalent. You have 15, 14, and 13 by solving using the formula or using your calculator. And by multiplying them, it will result to 2,730 possible arrangements of a three letter code if you're using the first 15 letters of the alphabet. And remember, repetition is not allowed. Another problem is, which of the following illustrates a combination? Remember again that combination is an arrangement without a definite order. For choice A, making a four-digit code means it requires an order. Since if you rearrange the letters, it will indicate one possible arrangement of a code. So therefore, A is not the correct answer. For letter C, arranging five people in a row is also the same as putting them in a certain order. So interchanging two persons would mean another specific order. So that means it's not, again, a combination. 
Same with D, or thing letters in the alphabet. Rearranging any of the letters, even by just a pair, would mean it requires a specific order. However, selection of food in the menu does not require any order. In whichever way you choose, from the main course, to the dessert, to the drinks, regardless of how you get your order or selecting the food that you want, it does not require any specific order. So therefore, the letter, the answer that we're looking for is B. Another problem. Which equation in solving combination of n objects taken r at a time is incorrect? Remember now that the formula to get the combination is the combination of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial all over the quantity of n minus r factorial r factorial. However, if you also consider this, a is the same as the formula that we're looking for. Take note also that that particular portion is the same formula for permutation, which we may write as permutation of n taken r at a time, which in our case can be written as b. Or, since your permutation taken r at a time may be expanded as n factorial over n minus r factorial, and just put that r factorial there, it would mean that it's also the same as simplifying it as letter C. So therefore, the incorrect formula in solving for combination is option D. Next problem, which is true about permutation and combination of five objects taken two at a time? So if we're going to solve for permutation, it's now permutation of 5 taken 2 at a time is equal to 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial, which is an equivalent 20. Well, for combination, it's now the combination of 5 taken 2 at a time is the same as 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial 2 factorial, which is equivalent to 10. So comparing the two, 20 and 10, we now say that permutation is greater than combination. So therefore, the correct answer is B. In the Young Tomashian Idol or YTI singing contest with 12 contestants, how many ways can the organizer arrange the first three singers? So here, we are arranging who will sing first, second, or third. So therefore, arranging the singers in their performances requires order. So that indicates we're using permutation. So we're talking about 12 contestants and we're now getting the first three. So it will be 12 factorial over 12 minus 3 factorial or simply 1,320 ways. Letter C. Another problem. Jose prepared seven flags for signaling in their camp. There are at least five flags tied one above the other to be used to relate time and possession to the campers. How many different signals can be made? Take note that arranging the flags to make signals require order. So that means automatically we're using permutation. However, one key word that we have to remember is that we're talking about at least five flags. At least would mean a minimum. Minimum which means we can go above five flags. We can have six flags or we can maximize the seven flags to create a signal for the campers. So if we're going to analyze it, first is you got seven available flags and we can get, get the list, which is five. But it may also be possible, since it was mentioned, at least we can have six plugs or we can use all the seven plugs. And since all of this are possible combinations to create the signals, all you have to do is to add them all. So by using the value, 
Permutation of 7 taken 5 at a time is 2,520. Permutation of 7 taken 6 at a time is 5,040. In the same manner with permutation of 7 taken 7 at a time is also 5,040. By adding them all, there will be 12,600 different signals that can be made out of the 7 plus. Another, if W is combination of 5 taken 2 at a time, X is combination of 5 taken 3 at a time, Y is combination of 5 taken 4 at a time, and Z is combination of 5 taken 5 at a time. And the given is a set of 5 points on a plane with 3, no 3 points are collinear. Which expression gives a total number of polygons that can be drawn? First, we have to take note that to, to create a polygon, we need at least three non-collinear points. Therefore, the following conclusions can be made. For W, which is a combination of five taken two at a time, is not included since two points will not make a polygon, but only a line. For X, combination of 5 taken 3 is possible to create triangles. For Y, which is a combination of 5 taken 4 at a time, is possible to create quadrilaterals. And for Z, combination of 5 taken 5 is possible to create pentagons. So therefore, among the four, we are getting the total number of polygons. And that will only be possible for X, Y, and Z. Once again, W is not possible because a line is not considered as a polygon. Next problem. The HR of the matching company wants to hire at least one male applicant among the 12 applicants composed of 8 female while the rest are male. How many ways can the 4 position be filled? So here, we are now filling out the four positions. And since there's no particular order for the applicants, regardless of the gender, we use combination. However, it was also mentioned at least one male applicant. At least, which means it can go beyond having one male applicant. From there, we can now make a conclusion that the four positions can be obtained using the eight female and the four male applicants. Which means, since we're talking about combination, from the four male applicants, we can get at least one. And that means the remaining three positions will be coming from the eight female applicants. Which we can get by simplifying it, it will result to 224. But then, since it was mentioned at least one female, it is possible, one male, possible to have two males out of the four, and the other two will be coming from the female, which is equivalent to 168. Or, it can also be possible that there will be three male applicants filling out the position and only one from the female, which is equal to 32. Or, all the positions are filled out by the four male applicants and none from the female applicants, which is equivalent to one. And since what is asked is how many ways, all you have to do is to just add them all. So the result is 224 plus 168 plus 32 plus 1 is equal to 425, which is letter C. Another problem. Hans found seven articles related to his research paper. In how many ways he chose three articles to read? And reading an article does not require any particular order for his research paper. So that means it's a combination. It's a combination of seven available articles and he's only taking three at a time. So, 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial, or there will be 35 ways. That's all for today. Thank you, and I hope you learned from our discussion on permutations and combinations.
Once again, thank you and God bless everyone.